congratulations on the film, guys. Thank you. Thank you. I just finished watching it an hour ago, and it's delightful, and I absolutely loved it. So congratulations oh, on that. And uh, I must say, it felt like a bit of a throwback. It felt like a movie I was would, would be watching sort of in the 90s, the kind oh, of movies yeah. that they don't make yeah. anymore. And I just wondered whether that was a deciding factor for you guys amongst all the amazing things to get involved. Maybe I'll chuck that to the ladies first, and then the guys can answer after. Sure. I, I loved those. I loved, I mean, I think it was an, a kind of an era of filmmaking, really. Yeah, man. Uh, oh, you know, right, yeah. <laughs> like, uh, Terms of Endearment is one of my mm -hmm. one of my oh, yeah. one of my favorite mm -hmm. one of my favorite films, um, and I, I I just I love the idea of um, women women relationships being you know up front and center uh, for all of their their beauty their ugliness um, um, and the humor of that um, and. I just think that you know we need more of these kinds, yeah. of, more of these kinds of stories. Sure. So it was a it was a joy for me to be a part of that. It has a lot of heart, and I feel like maybe that was one of the, you know, kind of w movies weren't afraid of that. Now it mm -hmm. feels like we need more of that, right? Mm -hmm. The world it feels kind of hard right now, and uh, the movies are reflecting that. And so I think I think people are craving it. So yeah, it was wonderful to work on. Yeah, and I, I feel the same way. You know, um, like I was just, I, you know, chimed in while Anjanu was talking. You know, like the '90s for us was like a sort of a golden era in the sense of, you know, um, there were so many films that humanized us. Mm. You know, um, in a way that we hadn't been humanized. I mean, you know, if, if we're coming from the early days of filmmaking, the black and whites, um, where we were just kind of just nannies and slaves or mm -hmm. whatever, and um, people in the jungle um, and things like that. And then, you know, you cut to the 70s where you had your black exploitation films yeah. where, you know, pimps and hoes. Pimps and hoes <laughs> and, and, you know, vigilantes <laughs> and um, lawbreakers and, you know. Um, and then, you know, the 80s was kind of like this ambiguous phase and, you know, but then the 90s sort of helped define um, uh, black culture in a sense of the diversity of, mm -hmm. of, of what we have to bring to the table. Um, that the, we already knew that. The world had to catch up, mm -hmm. you know. Um, we already knew that. So when we saw movies like Love and Basketball or Love Jones or Soul Food or, mm -hmm. and it goes on and on, Brown Sugar, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, we we were able to identify with those with those characters so much because those were us. You know, these are the people that we knew. They were we three we dimensional. I, did, I never met. I'm from Harlem. Two. I never met the jive talking. You know, hey man, what's <laughs> happening? I don't even know who that is. Um, and I, I don't know who started that. Um, that is nonsense. And um, and I'm and I'm glad that we were able to get out from that um, that dark cloud of of of, of nonsense. I wanted to ask you gents about watching these three ladies at work because some of their some of the stuff they produce in this is absolutely phenomenal. I just wonder for you guys kind of not on the periphery, but kind of have it's their story and everything else. What was it like for you guys every day to watch them doing this amazing work? Maybe Russell, I'll come back to you first. You know, I, I think for me and uh, it was important. I, I, I'm taking the idea of being the um, the first gentleman to these first ladies. And 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 taking and general. being there to support right. them. The um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Isn't they call, isn't it called the second gen gentleman? No, you're yeah. the president. You the first. You the first lady. You, you know oh, they were yeah. calling him the second because he's vice president. Vice president. Got it. Yes. So, I'm just big. You girls you know. are the president. You yeah, the that's president. right. That's right. And girl. so you know, I, I think um, <laughs> you know it, it was an, it, that was one of the reasons why I, I took the role. Uh, and, and just, I wanted to be a part of, mm -hmm. of greatness. Um, I've admired a lot of these women from afar. Um, had an opportunity to work with Sanaa before. Um, Anjanu and I have known each other since the days of old when nights were bold. And, <laughs> and uh, it, uh, we've been wanting to work with each other for, uh, for years. Mm -hmm. And finally getting that opportunity. And Uzo as well, um, been a fan of her work for so long. Mm -hmm. And it was just important for me to be able to be there um, as a as a co-star, but also as a supporter, uh, and just there to to lift them up, to exalt them, and uh, yeah. to and finally just to salute their work and their brilliance. And you know that's a rare thing coming from 
a man in Hollywood. Like you'd be surprised about how many men wouldn't take a role supporting women when we've been doing it, you know, for right. centuries. And yeah. so that is a testament to these men and who they are as real people as well that they are just willing to step in into this into this ro these roles and be so generous. Fantastic. Guys, I really enjoyed the movie. Thank you so much for your for your time. I hope it goes really well for you. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. So much. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey you guys. <laughs> hey you guys. <laughs> hey, that's what they all say. Hey you guys. Hey you guys.